One of the biggest differentiators in American Mahjong is the Charleston. This is when players pass unwanted tiles between them to build their hand. It's half the game. If you can master the Charleston, you can set yourself up for success going into the next phase of the game where players pick and discard one tile at a time. In this video, we're going to practice decision making in what I call Charleston modeling. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We're going to alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13 tiles, and then 14. I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, a flower, east and south with a pair of souths. We have a red and white dragon. In BAMs, we have one, eight, nine, pair of ones, pair of eights, pung of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would build around the most of my multiples. We have a pair of Souths, pair of Ones, pair of Eights, and a Pung of Nines. I think I would play Eight, Nine. There's even a hand that uses Dragons, the Concealed Hand, two consecutive numbers with Pungs of Dragons in the other two suits. So that's what I would focus on. Eight, nine dragon. We need a pair of flowers, a pung of eights, pung of nines, pungs of these dragons. And we have a joker here. So I would break these up. Now this is going to be a little bit risky passing east and west, but we have no gaps for this hand. Let's see what happens. We have a nine. For this particular hand, we only need a pung, so I'd let it go. And because we have no gaps, I would commit. So I would pass probably these three. One of each suit. No keepers. I would pass those three. We have two keepers, a flower, and a dragon. Now here we have three tiles to pass. We have our pair, we have a joker to help us with pungs, and three tiles to pass. We went right across left. We have no gaps and three tiles to pass. If we go into the second Charleston, we're going to be committed for two passes because we'll have the second left and then a cross pass where we have to pass fully. And then on the last pass, we could pass blind. If we get all the tiles we want in the second pass, we're going to have to let something go and break up our hand. So another thing that we could consider is the fourth or fifth hand down, just in case we have to break up dragons. So let's go ahead and continue the Charleston and see what happens. We picked up an eight. We have only two tiles to pass. We have eight, nine dragons. We could either let one of these tiles go and build up later, or we could break these up, use this for the missing seven, and maybe play the fifth hand down I think in this case what I would do, 
is probably let a nine go. If we let the nine go, the other option would be to keep these tiles and let these dragons go. For example, that dragon and look for a seven bam specifically. I think what I would do though in this case, because we have no gaps here, I think I would let a nine go because there's already an eight in there. I don't think I would pass like numbers. So I think what I would do in this case is pass the nine bam and let's see what happens. We picked up a flower, which we really don't need because we are playing a concealed hand with these flowers. Now, one thing we could do is switch to maybe the fourth hand down. If we could get a seven bam, we could even use this joker to help us get the quint. And then what we could do is maybe for this last right, pass one tile, pass two blind. I really don't like passing like numbers. I think that's almost as risky as passing a pair and I rarely do it. So I think in this case, I would pass one blind. Let's pass two blind. We got a west. So for optional cross, we can pass two. We didn't get our nine back. So here, what I would probably do is discard those, use this maybe for that white dragon. We're playing concealed, so I would just try to build. We have no gaps for this hand. We have a joker east, west, south. We have one, two, seven, and bams with a pung of twos. We have three, nine, and cracks, five, six, and dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play a year hand. Let these go. Maybe, let's see, three, six, seven. I think no matter how we slice these, it's going to have a little bit of risk. Let's pass these three. We have a one. That's a year tile, so I would keep it. And here we have tiles we can pass. We do have the matching dragon here, but there are no dragon year hands, so I'd let that go. No keepers. I think I would like to pass one of each suit. We got a year tile, and we do have tiles we can pass. We went right across left. We're going into the second left. No keepers. I would pass those. We got a year tile, two year tiles. And we have one tile to pass. We're going on to last right. So I think what I would do, we have two, one, one, two, one. I think I would probably let the winds go. Two one, two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty one. We could maybe even play the big year hand. Well, we'd have to let a joker go. 
2021. There's a two. There's a two suit 2021 hand. Second one down. We could use this for the white dragon. Two zero two one. So these would go away. We have a gap. We could play maybe the first hand, but we have a gap, no flowers. We could maybe even hold those and focus on BAMs for the concealed hand. Two zero. Two, one. I think we could let this one crack go. Maybe hold on to the wins. Let's pass one blind. We got a north. We're in between 2021 concealed or maybe the second hand down. We have seven tiles towards each hand. So I think what I would do, two, we have a gap, two, zero, two, one, or two, zero, two, one. Hmm, this one is a challenging one. I think what I would do is pass one in optional cross. Now, if anybody asks you to pass one tile, I would decline because they're either going to be in between hands or they're going to be close to a winning hand. So I would say one and then my opponent would decline if they're a good player. Let's just pretend like this player is not interested in defensive passing. So let's pass one. I don't remember anything that we gave up. We didn't get a keeper out of it. We're in between hands, but it's promising. We have a couple of jokers, two flowers, almost news, singles, north, west, south. In cracks, we have five, eight. We have a three dot, and then we have one, five, six, nine, and bams. So besides the flowers, we have all singles. What would you focus on, and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play either wins and dragons or like numbers with fives and let these go. I think I would probably pass one, three, nine. All right, here we go. We got a red dragon. Maybe we could do north and south with dragons. That's the fourth hand down. We did pick up an eight. We could either do fives or eights with like numbers, but we have to choose one. North and south, we could do still winds and dragons with flowers. I think what I would do here is keep the eights because fives are in the middle of a run 
anyone playing consecutive run could be keeping fives. So let's work with the eights, which is on the edge of the one through nine range. We might pair these up. So let's pass these. We have three, four, six. Let's pass. We got a west, our first multiple other than the flower. And we do have tiles we can pass here. I think maybe I would break this up a little bit. Focus on wins, wins with flowers. Third hand down. Maybe we could even keep the one for a potential switch to a year hand with wins. Let's give up on the eight. Let's pass these. We got a flower. We did pair up the eight. Oh, and there's a one. All right, now here we could maybe switch to a quint with either ones or eights. Ones or eights. We're on the cross pass. We have to pass fully. Let's play a quint. No keepers. We did get a year tile though. Let's stick with the quint. We got an east. East, west. Flowers. We have like numbers with nines. I think what I would do here is let this east go, stick with a quint with either ones or eights, and pass two, an optional cross. We have a south. I would keep it as an option. So we have two tiles to pass. Options with our number tiles, flowers, and a potential wind for quince. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. If you build around multiples, you can set yourself up for success for every hand. Sometimes you don't start with multiples. In that case, build around the predominant pattern. But when a multiple forms in the Charleston, reassess and build around the multiples, keeping the tiles that support it and play a category that uses most of your tiles. Master this concept and you'll master the Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.